we had an argument over how to get a cable down a wall uh, when it has a fire block and I suggested using a, a you know a four foot long flexible drill bit to drill through the wall but we decided let's just cut a hole in the drywall uh, since this wall is getting painted anyways and apologies uh, for the Justin Bieber song uh, playing in the background these are trade secrets no they're on YouTube since you might have done messed up mm, I see I paper or maybe not So here I've got a mud room. There's actually two uh, fire blocks. You just you want to cut a big hole. You should have just drilled it. I figured it was because it's an exterior wall. Then you want to use a hole saw to drill through the stud. And now you can use a glow stick to get your cable. Make a service loop up top and use drywall screws to put the drywall back into the stud. Now you want to be careful and make sure to line it up correctly. can use a stud sensor uh, to find the fire block. I didn't know center. At the top. At the bottom. That's the edge. Almost people find a way to use it. And then now this stuff goes on pink. It dry is white. Somehow. Just plaster. There's a it. miracle. There's a um, primer that does that too, so when you're painting a white wall. That. That's too much movement. This one's not an issue because this can get filled. He just looks at me and he's like, You're here and saw the servers. He's like, I can see it right on your face. You <laughs> said that? <laughs> and then install the mud ring. You could just use the existing faceplate. Office plate 